for Tuesday, October 19, 2010. Um, we have six members present, and as such, we have a quorum. The first item of business on our agenda is uh, minutes from the previous meeting. Do we have any questions, comments, thoughts, or suggestions on, on the minutes from the September 21st, 2010 meeting? Barbara? No? No, I'll move to accept the minutes. And having heard no comments, <laughs> I invite motions. Move to accept minutes. Second? Second. Motion having been made by Barbara, seconded by Carol Ann. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion. Motion carries five, five and one abstention. That's, that's appropriate. Next item on the agenda is Eliza abstain for the record. You got that right? Next item on the agenda is Cape Family Medicine Storage Building Amendment. Dr. Craig Johnson is requesting amendments to the previously approved storage building land, I'm sorry, storage building located at 1226 Shore Road to increase the size of the second floor for storage, section 19-9. Site plan amendment. I would invite the applicant and or his representative to step up to the podium, make his presentation, and the board will consider the application. Uh, we're asking for uh, some very minor you, changes. You could just introduce yourself for the record, sir. Okay. Uh, I know Craig, you've been here several dozen times. But <laughs> that's right. Uh, my name is Craig Johnson. And um, Ad address. I am uh, requesting a minor adjustment to the original amendment, or I'm sorry, to the uh, original approval that we had for constructing uh, a storage building out in back of the facility that I have on 1226 Shore Road. And uh, the, uh, the changes that we'd like to make to the previously approved plan include a, uh, just a small mudroom to improve access to the building. Uh, we would like to raise the pitch of the roof uh, to a 10-12 pitch so that that would give us additional storage space uh, in the attic. Uh, we'd like to add a, uh, a small extension to the building for a stairwell to access the upstairs. And then we make, need to make a, a move of the um, light post uh, so that it won't interfere with the access into the mudroom. Otherwise, the remainder of the plan remains the same. Um, that was the sole content of our um, amendment request. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is on the consent agenda item. If any member of the planning board wants to move it to the regular agenda item, speak now. I would like to move it to the regular. <laughs> um, so as we talked about in the workshop, there's um, the west elevation doesn't include what is going to be that staircase. And from that view, that's uh, significant. Um, that's, a, that's a significant addition to uh, pedestrians that will be walking on the sidewalk. Before, before we consider the merits slides, and it's just a procedural item. Okay. Technically, it's on the consent agenda item. Uh -huh. You've moved to, to move it to the regular agenda so we can consider it. Okay. Uh, testimony and whatnot, and that has to be put to a vote to see whether we want to keep it on the consent agenda item or move it. And generally we do, but for the record we need to... Okay, I can't that. say why. I'm no, no, you can't. Oh, you, that, in light of that's the design standards, I sure. think we should discuss it in light of the design standards sure. for the town center. Okay. That's okay. in the ordinance. That's fair. I didn't I'd know. I'd like to just have a discussion. Okay. So you've moved to move it to the regular agenda so we can have that discussion. Does anybody want to second that motion? I'll second it. Yeah. I mean, practically speaking, does it matter whether we can, for substantive discussions, Marie? It's, it's just your rules say that consent agenda is, you just accept it as is. And it says that if you want to have a discussion, you need to move it to the regular agenda. Once you move it, then you can talk about it. Okay. So we have a motion having been made by Liza, seconded um, by Victoria. And um, any discussion on that motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh, go ahead, sorry. I would like to say that I don't agree. I think the plans are very clear. And um, I'm not particularly in favor of, of having a discussion because I think it does meet the town center requirements. It's in the back, and I think it's a rather handsome garage. I, I would, my personal comments on the motion is I agree with Barbara as to the substance of it, but I do think we should just put it on the regular agenda, consider it, and then uh, take a vote, yay or nay, on the project. Okay. 
So anyone else just on the motion to move it from the consent agenda item? Hearing none, all in favor of moving it from the consent agenda to the public agenda? All opposed? That motion carries four to two. All right. Having heard that, does the applicant want to add anything to his presentation? Oh. No, that's up to your, that's up to your boss. Yeah, please. <laughs> David My name is Dave Sinclair. I'm a contractor of South Portland. If you, if you can visually look at the existing building that Dr. Craig Johnson has on the addition that we did originally, from Shore Road, we had the same type of stairway bump out. Uh, on his existing building. It comes down and then there's a bump out to go from the first floor down to the, to the cellar, which in effect is the same type of cupola, if you will, coming up. So I'm not saying we're trying to design it the same, but it's in the same context as what we already had built uh, a few years ago uh, in, in that regards to, you know, you're concerned about the town center and, and visibility. And visibility from Shore Road seems to be a lot more pertinent, if you will, than the access road going to the back side of the town hall and the, recy and the recyclable center. But that's just my opinion. I just thought I'd bring that up, that we already have built a, 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 a cupola type of, uh, of bump out on the uh, new addition for Dr. Craig that was three years ago, uh, which is almost identical to what we're asking here on the back side of the building. So I just thought I'd, you know. Yeah, so my specific concerns are that um, that is a walkway um, that I, I don't know the name of the road, but um, it has some street lights and it has a sidewalk, and it's going to be connected to the bike path someday, and there will be pedestrians. And when you look at the town center design standards, it talks about creating um, a friendly pedestrian envi environment with some buffering. And it also talks about um, openings of structures and how important it is to have some consistency in the openings of structures, so how many window or door openings there would be. And it seems to me that it's possible, since we don't have a picture of this addition on the elevation, it would be possible to have a roof line that's 24 inches long and 18 feet tall, and that would form a wall that's broken up by part of a roof with no windows in it. And I, I just don't think that that would be consistent with the town center design standards. We do have a picture of the backside elevation that pedestrians won't see, and there is one small window on the backside of that addition. But um, I don't think it would be consistent with the design standards for um, a scale of a building, uh, window openings. And also, I'm concerned that there wouldn't be enough buffering if, indeed, the plan is to have no windows on the pedestrian side of this, of this addition. If you're going to speak, you just need to step to the mic. That's fine. We're happy to have your comments. There is a plan to have windows on both sides of the buildings, uh, on both sides of that, that, well, I call a cupola, but uh -huh. on both sides of it, to have natural light coming in. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, the, these are, uh, these, uh, excuse me, uh, expert pictorials, if you will, from Mark Wilcox. Uh, but there is, there is plans to have windows on both sides of this jog, this jet out, uh -huh. uh, to let natural light in. Uh, uh, and I just, uh, you know, I, 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 there again, I, I go back to walking, uh, walking down Shore Road. If you look down at the new addition, which uh -huh. we have no plans all, I mean, it, but it's already been okay. Right. It's the same exact jog, and it's, it would be the same exact window design as before. So I thought we were more or less keeping in line with what we've already been okay to build and have built. Right. It, it's not in the plans, though, okay. that we're looking at. It's not in all of no, it. That not. elevation isn't accurate. The two editions are not okay. pictured. I, I drew them in in pencil right. to the best of my ability with my scale, but they're not in the plans. Keeping in mind, too, that what you can see from what you've drawn in, uh -huh. your elevations are pretty much on tact, uh -huh. but what, what, you, what might not be present there is the yeah. fact that this is only an eight-foot wide structure. So as you're looking down the back side of the building, it's not something that's going to be massive. It's going to be it's going to be a little eight foot wide, about two thirds of the way down. So it's going to be farther away from the road system than it is from the back of the building, too. Uh, and I'm sure. Granted. 
perpendicular Pardon me? to the building. It's perpendicular to the building. It's perpendicular to the building, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. But the design of it, look at the, the access road here, uh -huh. the design of it, you know, it's, it's not... If you look at it this way here and draw a picture of yes, it is coming off a little bit lower than the ridge here and, and, and coming out, but this width here, yep. uh, it, it's... I don't mean to be offensive to your drawings, but it looks as though that drawing there has this massive jog up where it's, in fact, if you look on the back of the building, it's just going to be a small outcropping two-thirds of the way down. It will be similar to, to this one from, from that elevation, which is accurate. Right. right on the other side of the building. Right. Which what? is big. Okay. If you look at the east elevation, it's a significant addition from that perspective. From the perspective of looking horizontally, feet. yes. Yeah. But if you could three, see it in three-dimensional, uh -huh. then you would see that it's, 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 it, it doesn't encompass the, the, the length of the building, which I think is what, you know, you, right. may, be, you may be not, uh, obviously not confused about, but I mean, uh -huh. just, you know, concerned about. Uh, and like I said, that, that more or less pitches the addition that we already have built to Dr. Fred when it's just a medical center. I'm not trying to hide you with anyone here. No. I'm, just, I'm, I'm just, you know, it looks massive from a horizontal view, but for, for, from a three-dimensional view, if you're almost walking by, they would see the long building going down and then around 30 feet from the front end, which is the double car door, you'd have this little jog coming out and going back. So it's, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, my point is it should have a window in it. It will have windows in it. Okay. So I, and if it's no. not specifically and stated on all the plans. some buffer, some landscaping in front of it. Well, there are trees, in effect, on the road now, and there are going to be more plantings going down there, and that was from the original plans that we had last year. Okay, because I see the existing um, tree on the plan, but I right. don't see any new landscaping on the plan. Uh, that would be back in the existing... Well, that's, that, you know, it, what we have is, is what is currently planned for landscaping. We, there are some um, arbor vitas that have been planted right along the fence line. Mm -hmm. uh, we put that in there once the town ripped out all the, you know, the old uh, material that they had there. Uh, but that's that's what we've committed to at this point. The, is the facade that you're concerned about the? Is you're looking at it from where the garage doors are and on the other side? Yeah. And, Okay, and then as I understand the applicant's representation, just so we're all on the same page, is there are going to be windows on that, those two faces. Yes, there are. We, yeah, we, we have one window planned for each side. We have one window planned for right. each side. Right, Good. right. And then, and then there's, what we do have shows a window on, on the third side away from the building, correct? Right, right. Okay. We, just, we don't have that drawn in here. Uh, so, I mean... Personally, I'm in favor of moving the project forward, but I'd like to see a written condition that those windows, you know, we, we see a plan showing those windows on there. That can't be that hard, um, and we can move forward with the process. I, I don't know whether my other board members feel the same way, but I'm not trying to hold you up. Oh, no, no. I'm we just, we're, we're relying on your good faith representation, but I would love to see it in a plan that we simply substitute as this page. Uh, whatever one that is, West Elevation, Garage West of Ele Elevation page. Showing a window on, on the on the uh, the pull up. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I'm, I just want the issue yeah. squarely on the table. Thanks for moving us ahead. <laughs> Is there anything else? Any other issues that the board would like to ask the applicant? Because I mean, is, is it enough just to stay that if you um, if you look at the representation, uh, this that you all have copies of. Mm -hmm. The plan is to put a window identical to this on the opposite side, which would be on the, the driveway side of the building, the side that you're concerned about. Is that sufficient? Yep. Okay. Yeah, it is. Oh, An identical good. window will be placed on the other side to match this window here. I wish it were bigger, <laughs> but... Oh, it's There's only, only it's so only much we can mandate. He's shown the Mark didn't draw that on there, did he? <laughs> <laughs> you know, unfortunately, Mark did not draw a... Uh, the same he, did, he did not draw from the front, which showed the uh, <laughs> side extension. So all we have is the picture from the back. Right. 
It's one of the advantages of having these video recorded. When we have a question later on, I mean, the issue always comes up where you pull the building permit, you construct the thing, now you're looking for the occupancy permit, and our CEO has got to go out there with a set of plans and say, golly gee whiz, does it look like what the plans say? And where there's nothing on a west elevation, I mean, I'd wonder myself, like, we're going to put this back together the way we just described and move the project forward unless my board fellow board members feel somewhat differently. No. The plan was, uh, the plan was on, on the first floor elevation from the back side looking at it from, from the, you know, the, the Cape Elizabeth side. It, this line is going to fall around the window on this side and the window on this side and then one up above. This one up here being stationary, these two down here being operable. <laughs> Ventilation. No, it's not drawn. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think we all, does anyone have any questions about it? I understand it completely. I don't know if anyone else has any questions. No. Okay. At this point, if there's no other questions from the board of the applicant, I'd open up the floor to motions. There's my vice chair. Yeah. I'll make a motion. Thank you. Uh, one last comment, and I understand your concern too, but understand that, you know, visibility-wise, it, it would be it would be detrimental not to put windows in there for the stairway. I mean, you know, no, it was not drawn in. But f f from a contractor standpoint, obviously we would put windows in for natural light. Uh, and it, I'm sorry it's not drawn, and that's you know, we, maybe we didn't have a complete set of plans as far as you know what you were totally looking for. But obviously, from, from a contractual point and from an aesthetic point, it would obviously be there because you want more natural light than possible. I mean, it's, 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 it's excuse me, it's a no-brainer. <laughs> good, good. I like that phrase. All right, Elaine. Okay. Motion for the board to consider findings of fact. Dr. Craig Johnson of Cape Elizabeth Family Medicine, located at 1226 Shore Road is requesting an amendment to the previously approved site plan for a storage building located at the rear of the lot, which requires review under section 19-9 site plan regulations. Two, the application substantially complies with section 19-9 site plan regulations. Therefore, be it ordered that based on the plans and materials submitted in the facts presented, the application of Dr. Craig Johnson of Cape Elizabeth Family Medicine located at 1226 Shore Road for an amendment to the previously approved site plan for a storage building located at the rear of the lot to add a mud room, an extension for a stair, and a more steeply pitched roof to increase storage on the second floor, as well as relocate a light and delete one parking space, be approved uh, on the following condition, that the applicant shall provide an amendment to the garage west elevation plan depicting the stairway extension which shall include a window um, on the westerly side of the stairway extension of the same size and character as the window shown on the uh, garage east elevation. Well put. Second. Okay. A motion having been made by Elaine Founder and seconded by Caroline Jordan. Do I have any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, I'll call for the roll. All in favor of the motion? All opposed? Motion carries nothing. Thank you very much. I just wanted to note for the record, I know Dr. Johnson was concerned that um, I had submitted this application to our town engineer for review because of the drainage area that the extension of the building is going into. And I just wanted you to know that he has provided his advice uh, as a complimentary thing. So there's no charge. Thank you. Okay, the next item on our agenda is the Planning Board Rules of Procedure. Uh, the Cape Elizabeth Planning Board. Is considering, thank you. Sorry, right, no problem. Is considering revisions to the planning board rules of procedure, including amendments to increase the opportunity f for the public to speak at meetings. Uh, given that we've worked through this uh, in several workshops, 
I'm going to ask, and Maureen has made some uh, changes to the drafts that we considered at the last workshop. I'm going to ask her just to give us a brief introduction as to what she changed and why she changed it and where we're at. Um, since the, well, you had just some cleanup things. I don't think anything was substantive except for the public comment section. So I'm going to go to that section. And what you did, which is an item C, section three item C, is you, you basically modeled what you're doing after uh, the town council's public comment section with a couple of changes. Um, one is, and this happened um, last Friday, was that the paragraph that describes workshop is, has been moved to the very beginning of the public comment section. And the workshop does not allow public comment under this version of your draft rules. Um, there's also a letter from the Maine Municipal Association um, advising the planning board that there are some severe, uh, there's a significant potential for some legal exposure if a comment period at a workshop becomes a substantive discussion of the application. And for that reason, I think you decided to continue with your current practice of not allowing public comment at workshops, but encouraging written comment. And then item two um, is where we did a little formatting change, but item two is where you've added this concept of um, having a public comment period at every regular meeting. So you already allow public hearings, and public hearings are required as a term and uh, as a description under town ordinance and under state law. So I would strongly urge you to continue to use the term public hearing. But in addition, you have something called a public comment period, even if you haven't formally scheduled a public hearing. And that would be allowed at every meet, every regular meeting of the board, on every item on the board's agenda. And you've placed the same um, structure to that that the council currently has, where you set aside 15 minutes per item. Um, a person may be allowed to speak for up to three minutes. And both of those time limits can be extended by the chair. So that um, page three, item B at the top, is um, where the other formatting change happens. So and I know number two there needs to go over. But it says two regular special meeting and the first paragraph, there's an A there that has to go over. Um, the, first, um, the first paragraph talks about how people, what people are allowed to talk about. They're supposed to talk about the item on the agenda. Um, and then the second paragraph, item B, gives the actual specifics of how you make your comments. And then um, item three is also brand new, and it says persons wishing to address the board an item not appearing on the agenda may do so at, at the disposition of, uh, disposition of all of their items. And that's another new uh, addition that you've added. So I do, I do apologize for the formatting. We're still working that out. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Um, thank you for the introduction, Maureen. If anyone has any questions, comments, thoughts, or suggestions, we're at a public meeting and time to air them to, out to the public and we can take a vote on what we want to do with the present proposed amendments. I thought it looked good and accurately reflected our discussion. Thank you. I agree. May I make a motion? Sure. Motion for the board to consider be it ordered that the planning board rules of procedure in accordance with document draft dated October 18, 2010, be recommended to the Town Council for adoption. I second. Motion having been made by Elaine Fallender and seconded by Eliza Quinn. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion? All those opposed? Merit. Motion carries 6 nothing. I would invite motions to adjourn. Ooh, one, more, one more item. I believe at the last workshop you have uh, an item that you're expecting to be submitted for the November meeting. Uh, the Inn by the Sea is proposing That's to right. demolish and rebuild <coughs> 600 cottages. And they were hoping to get that streamlined so that they can start the work before the snow flies. And you had uh, preliminarily discussed holding a site walk on that for Saturday, November 6th at 9 a.m. And uh, you probably, if you want to do that, should formally schedule that at this meeting. That's fine with me. <laughs> yeah, All right. 
9 o'clock, so that will go up on the website. I actually looked out there today because I said, I could have sworn we had set that already, but we didn't. Well, we can't really do it. Well, also, we're, are we waiting for a submission? That was the other concern. Are we really going to have something to look at while we're I've, out there? I've heard from their engineer. He's got the application form. They've made all the motions that appear that they're putting together an application. Because the, the deadline would be the 29th for a submission? Yes. So if perchance nothing comes in and it looks like nothing will come in before the 6th, I would suggest we just let the chair know and then we'll make a decision okay. as to whether we're, I mean, we still may decide to have it, but I, it's very uncomfortable to, in my experience to go out there without a set of plans mm -hmm. to, to review something. That's true. So, but uh, hopefully we will not have to deal with that. I'm just, based on past experience, it would be good to know that that's potentially out there. Okay. Is that all, Marie? Yeah, I will um, I'll post that on the town's website, on the calendar, and I'll send a confirmation note to everyone. And if they do not make a submission, I will let you know. But they're, they're making all the right noises for something coming in. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? We're adjourned. <laughs>